And I think we've all heard of a remarkable person, a remarkable life, a wonderful life. The greatest pity was that Pete never got chance to write his autobiography. I'm certain Ken Wilson could have made a world bestseller out of it if he had. Because I have here a piece which he wrote large, which is wonderful writing, and I wanted to read it to you, but there isn't time. I'm going to finish with a unique illustration of Pete's mind, of how he thought about things. And I'm going to read to you a letter that he wrote last year. And there was a, a story going round. This is a letter that he wrote to his niece. And there was a story going round about a rainy afternoon on which Pete emptied a packed Cornish cafe by removing from his mouth a number of live slugs. On hearing the tale, Alec's daughter, Alison, then only 11, but apparently endowed with the lifty scepticism, wrote to Pete to check on the validity of the tale and to express her concerns about his apparent disregard for the welfare of small creatures. <laughs> he wrote back as follows. My dear niece Alison, I am sorry to say that much of what you have heard about your great uncle Pete is untrue. It is true that there were indeed ordinary people in my presence in that clotted Cornish cafe. But beyond that not insignificant fact, your informant has led you astray. Do not despair, this often happens to children. This is what actually happened. I had nothing at all to do with slugs. Ugh. I was merely offering sheltered accommodation to homeless snails. <laughs> Just a small part of the charitable work in which I'm engaged in. <laughs> I do believe that others in our party were de determined to undermine my humble charitable, charitable act by turning it into a competition to see who could house the most homeless snails. I cannot say who encouraged this ridiculous competition, <laughs> but he is married to a certain Mrs. Cobley. As you will appreciate, I am not a competitive person. <laughs> but I did, through chance, win the snail housing competition by housing seven snails at once. The other scores were Mrs. Cobley, none, Mr. Cobley, none, Mr. Lovey, none, and Mrs. Lovey, none. Mr. Lovey, by the way, Steve Foster. I would hasten to assure you that full consideration was given to an equal opportunities, multicultural approach. <laughs> To this housing scheme. Four of the snails were black. <laughs> Three were a sort of fawn colour. All the snails were male. All the snails were female. I hope this curtails any further worries you may have your great uncle Peter and I think that letter says it all a unique man with a unique sense of humor a unique approach to life and we are all most grateful to have known you Pete